Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about the Canon EOS 3 and how you can use that camera to be able to broadcast on YouTube. I'm going to be using the EasyCap HD60 as the HDMI capture device and I'll break down exactly how I'm doing this right now. Currently I'm filming on my camera. I'm going to, in the next couple of sequences, use my cell phone so you can see the whole rig setup. Let's do it! Okay, so this is my setup. And as you can see here, my camera is currently set up on the tripod. This is the Canon Rebel EOS 3. And I'm just going to flip over here so you can see that I have an HDMI cable running on the out. Now, you can run this as a battery powered unit, but there's also several uh, third market providers that are out there that will allow you to do a battery substitute so you can actually have some power into it rather than relying on your battery. I highly recommend that because as good as the batteries are for the Canon, as we all know, when you're sitting there fiddling around, uh, what should seem like minutes will actually take hours and uh, you will burn through your battery so fast. So, you know, for as cheap as 20 bucks, you can go ahead and get one of these uh, power units and basically they act like the battery. They fit inside a battery compartment, but they actually plug into the power cord, right? So it's a, it's a really good time saver. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the EasyCap HD60 card. Um, you can see that it's flashing green right now. Uh, so a couple of things about this. So I have two HDMI cables. Uh, one is actually going out to my monitor if I choose to be able to see it on a monitor. I frequently do not do that. The other cord is going directly to my camera. So you can see that there's a there's an in and there's an out. And you're currently at the top one right now. If I get it to focus, looking at the in on the very top and the out is on the bottom. And on the other end, we have a simple USB connection. And the nice thing is it's plug and play. You don't really need to go searching for drivers or anything like that. If you buy this, uh, you can get them for 60 bucks on eBay. Uh, you just literally pop it into the USB um, port and it automatically detects it and will go ahead and install it for you. Um, you know, on, on Windows devices, I can't speak about Apple. Um, so this light, when it's flashing green, means that the HDMI signal is going to the computer. Do not confuse this with the HDMI signal coming into the EasyCap because it'll be just bright red. And um, you know, if you if you uh, still have your signal coming in to the uh, capture card. Um, but it's not being received by the computer. So when you see it flashing green, that means it's actually being received by the computer. Very, very important, uh, especially when you're troubleshooting. All right, so so how does this whole thing work? Well, I'm going to pan on up here for a second so you can see this screen. So I use OBS Studio for when I do all of my production work. And uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is install the um, OBS software, and there's tutorials on line on YouTube for how to do this entire thing. Uh, what I'm going to focus on right now, well, let me t just back up and say, hey, you can see my face. Um, so what I'm going to focus on right now is just the sources. So there's there's two boxes that are down here. And again, you'll be able to see this on online tutorials. But there's two boxes. One is for the scene and the other one's for the video capture device. So um, in order to install a video capture device, you simply have to click on plus you click on the video capture device and then it'll ask you if you want to add an, uh, a new device and you would say yes. I'm not going to do that right now because I've already got it installed. So let me just double click on this so you can see it. And once you have the EasyCap software uh, automatically installed after you've actually hooked up the device, it'll actually be listed in that device drop down on the very top. So, you know, normally on your, if you're using a laptop, there'll already be an integrated camera. You want to switch it over to the EasyCap device. If you don't see the, uh, the EasyCap device, you know something is wrong, and that's where you got to do your troubleshooting. Okay, so once you have that entire thing up, you're going to see a grid like this, right? And as you can see, I've got some ugly black lines on my screen right now. So, how do I fix that? So, what you want to do, there's a couple of different ways you can go about this. Some people want to control the video screen as being presented on the actual uh, on the actual monitor itself and record that. I'm a big fan of actually just being able to capture the HDMI signal directly fr from the HDMI cord. So if I go back to my camera, you can see that there's a 
red button right here, that will actually switch you over to record mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. By the way, you also want to have the top button onto the video camera setting, if you can see it there. Looks like a video camera. I'll zoom in there. There you go. All right. Now, I'm going to go back to Open Broadcast Studio. You can see now that those black lines have disappeared. Hello. And uh, I'm getting a nice crisp image inside of this, inside of the viewfinder. Um, you'll notice that there's some numbers that are appearing down below, right? It's pretty simple to make those go away. Going back to this, if I click on the display, Right, the numbers just went away now. So you click on that display button on your camera, numbers come back, numbers come back, numbers go away. So I just pressed it three times and the numbers are gone. All right, all right, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the capability of being able to modify the screen. So um, again, I'm in record mode. You can tell by that little red dot that's up there in the right hand corner. Uh, if I simply just right click anywhere on the screen, go to transform, as I focus here on my cell camera, normally I'd use my video capture, but I'm being lazy today. Uh, and then when I click on transform, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on fit the screen. And it's voila. Now you've got a really nice full screen capture and it's nice and clear. And that's exactly what's going to be transmitted over to YouTube or to whatever recording you happen to be doing. So one of the nice things about using the Canon EOS 3 is you got an amazing depth of field. Uh, you could do all kinds of effects using this. So from a video production standpoint, not only is it cheap, but it's going to give you quality. Uh, and you don't have to necessarily use some of the advanced features that you have in the i-series, say with the wireless devices. And you don't even have to take advantage of the USB functionality on the camera. Uh, you'll see some other videos out there that attempt to use some of the EOS capture utilities in order to get screen grabs or to use that as the transfer by which you capture the video from OBS. You don't need any of that. I'm doing this completely without the EOS utility installed. This is a direct HDMI output going directly from my camera to the EasyCap to OBS. It's as simple as that.